All right, it is good morning. Almost forgot. It is 11.15. Wednesday morning. I haven't seen any orders. Anything, nothing good. Uh, I finally got this one. It's like 28 bucks. It's going 10 miles, 28 items. I think it was 50 units. Two customers, one of them first order on Instacart. Whenever you get those, I'm just keep saying it, make sure you do everything you can to get them what they want. That way they have a good experience. They want to use Instacart again. That should be everyone's goal. You give them such a good experience that they want to tip higher the next time. Um, anyway, I have had plenty of time. I've done more than two hours on the bike this morning. I have ridden my bike so much in the past week. I'm feeling so good. I love it. Anyway, let's go shopping. Oh, man. It's always funny how you can kind of tell who didn't tip good by what they ordered. The second customer lives further away. Ordered a bunch of like drinks and candy, a shit ton of candy. So I'll be surprised if that person left a good tip. And since I've been riding my bike so much, I am freaking hungry. I got myself a cliff bar and some tuna. speaks in dollars all right so that instacart drop off was kind of weird because it was at like a office scenario man these cops are really going fast right now um anyway this next order man with all the candy and drinks it's going to goddamn hospital and it says to leave it at the door what what <laughs> I gotta take back all the bad judgments and things I said about that second customer. They tipped me 10 bucks. I mean, the order did go pretty far, but still $10, what do you expect? And they didn't really need to leave any instructions because it's a building right next to the hospital. It wasn't the hospital, so the drop off was pretty easy to figure out. And that first lady tipped seven bucks and then she gave me another five bucks, so. Hopefully we can get another order. I forgot I'm, I can sign back in on DoorDash. All right, so I got another Instacart like right away at the giant right here, right where I dropped off the last one. I think it was 23 bucks going a mile or two up the road, 23 items. Maybe it was 21 bucks. I don't know. It seems like a pretty easy order, except I don't know the exact layout of this giant. And I just drove past the giant, so I got to figure out where I can do a U-turn safely. All right. Before I go shopping for this one, since I'm driving for a minute to turn around and everything. Anyway, I want to answer this one question. Basically, it is, what do you do when the order says, hand it to the customer, and the customer is nowhere to be found? And the answer is, I take a picture. And I just pretend like it's any other order where you take a picture knock on the door and if they don't come you know I figure they just were ordering quick and they didn't see that they can choose to just have me leave it at the door instead of playing this game you know whatever I like she said she sends them a message or whatever I, I don't think you even need to do that because and I've never had a problem with that another thing is I've never had one of these apps I mean I think I have gotten one from DoorDash where it said the order was never delivered but I got a video of almost every single one I do. I got proof. 
but yeah, I mean, it should just be an option as a delivery driver. Like, no, no one, do not ever take anything back to the store. I remember when I when DoorDash first started doing grocery stuff with Safeway, I would get it would happen all the time where these people wouldn't answer the door and I'd take the, I'd take the groceries back and the people at Safeway would be pissed at me. I'd be pissed because DoorDash would only give me a couple extra bucks to do it. And it, it, for a long time, it made me like I'm not doing these DoorDash orders, <laughs> you know, for Safeway. And then I just realized at one point I was like, these people never answer the door. They don't answer the phone. They don't reply to texts. I'm just going to text them a picture and leave it at the door. And I never had a problem with doing that. So that's, that's what I do. All right. So I was not the fastest shopper on that Instacart. That freaking giant threw me for a loop. Said all this stuff was down aisle four. I go to the the beginning of the store the first aisle is aisle five there is no aisle four so i had to, i don't know i don't know what was going on it was really hard to figure out where anything was and then they got this roasted chicken salad which is normally just like in the deli department but the guy happened to be making it so then it took like five five i don't know five to ten minutes for me to even be able to talk to the dude for him to be like yeah i'm making it now but then he, whatever, he, he had it ready for me But by, by the time I finished shopping. All right, got that Instacart dropped off. And I think we're pretty close to $55. And what else? Oh yeah, I've driven 19 miles. And I accepted the first order two hours ago. That's pretty freaking good, I think. All right, Instacart is treating me right today. It was slow this morning, which, you know, let me get some, some good time in on the bike. But yeah, I, I was headed back towards my jurisdiction after dropping off that last one, and I got this freaking Wegmans order, man. It's four and a half miles. I think it was 76 bucks. And it's like 60 items and uh, <clears throat> 87 units. It was a whole bunch of drinks and stuff. And that's my, my pro tip for Wegmans. Or anywhere, if you get a really big order that has a lot of drinks and stuff, go get, go to the drinks first. You know, get the big stuff. Because you don't want to put all the produce in the cart and then be trying to put the drinks in and there's just no space. Because you can throw all kinds of stuff on top of drinks. But you can't, uh can't throw drinks on top of produce You'll be smushing the food anyway well i'm not even at the wagmans yet but when i get there i'm going shopping yes Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Yep, have a wonderful day. All right, that Instacart order. I wish I get orders like that all the time. I love that order. That order was awesome. I mean, so I accepted my first order right at 11 o'clock pretty much, and it is now 3 o'clock. We're at like 125 bucks. So where's my next order? All right, got another Instacart. It is eighteen dollars and thirty-eight cents. Going two and a half miles, two customers, eighteen items, twelve-dollar tip even between the two of them. So, Let's see who tipped what. Thank you. 
All right, just dropped that first Instacart off. Did I do that right? Let me make sure I didn't give this person the wrong food. Okay, we're good, we're good. For a second there, I thought I'd just mix things up. But anyway, I remember that delivering to that lady because, uh, well, one, she lives really close to me, and two, um, I told her have a good day, and she said, okay. She did the same thing last time, and somebody commented, you know, because normally, People will say you too if you tell them to have a good day, but she ain't having that. She don't care if I have a good day or not, and that's fine. She don't have to. All right, got the next Instacart. Basically 20 bucks. I think it was 22 items. <clears throat> it was going three or three and a half. I think it was three miles. So another easy one. Sorry to hear that. Do you want me to just set all the stuff on the island or? Oh, that's fine if you, if you want. It makes it easier for you yeah. to figure. Thank you. Yeah, people are crazy. It just, it, and it sucks when it's not your fault at all. And then right, you get hurt right. And, stuff and, that's a good and then, of course, you can't fix it. There's nothing you can do. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh, no I wanted problem. to ask you because when I get better, I need a part time job. How's Instacart for you? It, it's okay. It's pretty good. I yeah. do like Instacart and DoorDash uh, oh, okay. together. Where, where do you get the most? Uh, DoorDash um, or Instacart? Instacart. like if you, you make more money? Yeah, and if you sit up by Wakeman's, uh -huh. you can get a lot of good orders there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just up. Okay, thank you so much for yep. the advice. Yeah, no problem. Have a great evening. You too. Oh my god, y'all. That lady was really nice, but she was a chatty caddy. She's asking me all these questions and telling me her life story, basically. It's so weird when people do that. Like, within the first 20 seconds of meeting you, they tell you their whole life story. I don't get it. I am not that kind of person at all. That's right. We're back. Back at the Wegmans. Got another amazing one literally a couple like that last order i did kind of brought me it's a couple miles away from the wagman so this one is awesome it's another 50 dollars order but it's going to annapolis but i think it was only like 30 items might have even been less than that i don't know who cares i'm going shopping that Instacart off and I lost three bucks so that 
that's always a good time. But anyway, I accepted my first order at about 11 o'clock. It's a little after 7. So that's 8 hours. I, mean, I still got to drive home. I don't know. I might do another one if I get one. But a blower like 215 bucks. So I am happy. I feel like I haven't had a $200 day since last week. Man, look at this Instacart order I just saw. You gotta freaking pay a toll six dollars each way to go do that order. They're gonna give you 30 bucks, you gotta spend twelve dollars on tolls. And drive that order is absolutely insane. Whoever ordered that, like the thing that's funny about that is like they live in an app, they did not need to order food on the other side of the bridge. Like they didn't need to make someone have to commute across the bridge to get them food. But they're like, I want it from that store on the other side of the bridge. All right, y'all, uh, the shoe, got another one. This, the Wegmans, I got, you know, I called him my arts nemesis, really. Wegmans is the blessing, all right? If you if you have a Whole Foods or a Wegmans, learn how to shop at that store because that's where you're gonna make the money on Instacart. Like, seriously. This Look at this order. I got this sitting in my house. I'm five miles away from Wegmans. $50, 13 miles, but you gotta think, I gotta drive five miles to get to Wegmans, then probably 10 miles to get back home. So it's not as good as it looks, but it's still amazing miles to money. The items aren't that high. 70 units though. So it is a lot. I think it was like, what good was it? Oh, there we go. I, like I was really trying to make it through a video without dropping my phone. But see, my phone has this screen and I literally just set my phone right here while I'm driving. And that's how I get like all the clips. That's how you guys see me. But anyway, look at the freaking, holy crap. I went to look at this order to see what this person ordered and look at the instructions. They have very specific instructions. They're letting me know they're a strong tipper in their instructions. They have a $40 even tip. So I think as, and they said a strong raider. And it basically, their instructions, it, it, to me, it sounds like they don't want me to message them. They've picked a replacement. You either get the replacement or you refund them. That's it. They don't want nothing else. They don't want you trying to, they, that's the whole point of the Instacart to them. They've they've made their decisions on these things. If they don't, they'd rather not get it than me trying to go above and beyond, trying to find other replacements for them. And that's actually very kind of them now that I'm thinking about it. it you know, at first I was like, oh man, do I want to do this order? They got all these crazy instructions, but you know, they're not, they're consi so considerate of my time that they don't even want me to have to try to message them to try to find other things. That's that's next level. I like that. Um, and it's a $40 even tip. So I am grateful to do this order. I'm pretty confident we're going to get five stars on this one. All right. We made it to the Wegmans again. Third time today. Got that Instacart shop for. And I realized like almost all the money that I made today is at Wegmans. But uh, yeah, then I look at this person's drop off instructions. They're gonna open the garage door as I pull up. All right, start a Thursday morning now. What time is it? 9.30. Uh, I just cracked fingered this order. And then when I crack fingered it, I was like, oh, that's not even at the, the food line that I'm near. It's at the other food line. It's like five miles away. Anyway, the customer lives like right next to that food line. So I'm going to shop at the food line that I live near because I know the layout really good. I can shop fast there. And then I looked up their address. It's eight and a half miles away. So it's a $29 order, only 19 items eight and a half miles away so you figure 17 miles because i'm driving back unless unless they happen to send me another one or some miracle happens and i can get a doordash or an uber but 
otherwise that's what we're starting the day off with Got the next Instacart. It has been quite a while since that last one. This one's almost 25 bucks, going seven and a half miles and 22 items, but it's like 40 units shopping for two customers. But the second one drops off over near the Wegmans. So we are gonna pray that Wegmans will treat me right. All right, I got a bad feeling about this Instacart. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the shaft on this one. the second instacart dropped off i did lose like i don't know two bucks on tip or something and it was because the second customer i forgot they ordered all these valentine's day little debbie i call them cancer cakes i don't know what what you want to call them anyway it's some kind of cake thing you probably shouldn't be eating and uh they wanted six boxes of them they only had one box so i lose two dollars all right got the next instacart 22 bucks five miles um, thirty one items. I don't know. This isn't the best order, but whatever. We're doing it. I got another Instacart. This one is super easy. It's like 14 bucks going four miles, four items. Camera All right, so <clears throat> that Instacart was kind of on the low side dollar amount for what I normally do, but that person has tipped me so well in the past that I was like, I gotta do it. Then they had another order from Food Lion sitting there when I walked up. So obviously they just forgot to order something and then we're like, oh, I'll make another one. Oh, I just got this DoorDash and man, Mama Romas is wild. I guess the school did some kind of fundraiser or something and Everyone from the school is at Mama Roma's right now, so it was it was hectic in there. But I get the special treatment because I'm the OG Dasher, so I was like, just come here and give me the food. But yeah, this one, what is it, 9:25, going six miles or something? But it's all backwards. I don't know. I got excuses. This order will put me over $100 for the day, which is what I need today. I mean, I'm gonna try to make more, but <clears throat> at, at least. I'll hit, hit the $100 mark today if I do this one. I really wish it wasn't cold and I could ride my motorcycle because this order, just one bag of food, I could totally carry that on the motorcycle. All right, check out this Instacart I just saw. It's 25 bucks going 37 miles. It's only two items, customer left a $2 tip. I don't know who you tell to suck a dick on that one, whether it's Instacart. It's probably Instacart you tell to suck the dick because Instacart is like, you know that there's more food. There's a food line closer than that. Like That, that order is kind of out in the sticks, but still there's a food line closer than that to that order. 
and just no one wants to do it because it's a two dollar tip but yeah that's uh should be illegal that's cruel and unusual punishment to try to make someone do that All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. I forgot to film the outro now. It is Friday morning. Video comes out tonight. Well, you guys know you already watched it, so you know that. But anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, tune in Monday night, 9 p.m. to see Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Will I hit my goal of $1,000? Anyway, take it easy. Do what you wanna do. Peace.